Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yao Asifi Sitre, and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Asida House Commodities. And remember, Asida House Commodities is a maize trading entity. We have taken our time over the past five to ten years studying the maize market and the maize trading trends in Ghana. As you need maize in large quantities, and I'm speaking to poultry farmers, I'm speaking to animal feed production companies, and I'm speaking to meat. Um, BF production companies in Ghana that you need maize in large quantities. We are talking thousands of bags. We are the best people to speak with, to pick up our numbers and let's go. Now, in today's video, um, I think it's been a while, it's been like a week since I've been here to talk to you. And we all know that we are entering into the new May season. Alright, so this message actually goes to, mainly goes to maize farmers. And it also goes to uh, anybody who trade in maize. If you're in the maize, you know, value chain, this um, information is very vital to you. And I want to talk to you about how to store your maize, the best way to store your maize. Okay. So let's get into the video. The first thing you should be looking at if you want to store your maize for a very long time, and we all know that storing your maize for a very long time gives you the opportunity and the you know ability to sell your maize at the right time when the prices are better so you can make profit of course so the first thing you should be looking at especially if you're a farmer is to make sure that you harvest at the right time harvest your maize at the right time okay now what we have been seeing is that for the first season or for the first crop which is planted in february march it's also harvested somewhere in July. Okay, June, July, you should be harvesting it. Right. And what happens is that because most of the times you want, you are in a hurry, right? You want to hurry up so that you can plant the second season or you can farm for the second season or make preparations towards the second season, which also starts in August, September. What happens is that you don't tend to, you know, wait for the for for the maize to dry up very well before you harvest it. Okay, there are even information that people use chemical to dry their maize, which is very very bad. Allow the sun to dry it, and before you can do that, you also have to plant early. Before you can harvest on time, you can, you have to plant on time. Okay, so don't wait until it is the middle of March or the end of March before you you plant. Plant somewhere in, in um, February, of course, depending on which part of the country you are. But in the middle here and in southern Ghana, you should be looking at planting somewhere in February so that after four months, which will be in June, you will be able to, you know, um, harvest and get your grains very well. Now, we, the second thing you should, be, you should take note of is that you need to dry your maize. This is because no matter how how much sun you get during the June June season or the, the month of June, what happens is that there is also a lot of rains from June, July to August. There's, even in September, there is a lot of rains. So what you need to do after you have you harvested your maize, the second thing will be to dry it. And now at, during that time, the best way you can dry your maize is to send it to a maize drying center. If you are not able to locate Ashko factories, if you are very far, far from here, that is fine. Make sure you look for a maize drying center that is closer to you, right? So you can dry your maize to the best of specifications. And we are talking about specifications, then we are talking about somewhere with a moisture, to the moisture content of 12.5-13, it is okay for you to store your maize. If you are able to dry it up to 12.5, 30% moisture. Then we also be talking about the waste reduction in your maize. Okay, because you can have a maize sack that weighs around 150, 160 kg, and it will shock you to know that up to 5 kg is full of waste. 5 to 10 kg of out of that, you know, um, sack. It's full of waste. It's all waste, right? So 
it is also good that you don't just dry the maize you also clean it so that you know that if you have if at the end of the day you get 150 kg you know that it's 150 kg when you're storing you know that you're going to sell 150 kg out of that sum all right so that's the second part that's the second thing to take into consideration now number three you should be talk you should be looking at your storage where you're going to pack the maize it should be very dry it should be a very dry place it shouldn't be anywhere that have moisture you know any uh, it shouldn't be a, a place that is that that is moist okay make sure it is stored in the place that is dry clean and dry place if you have a warehouse good for you if you have a silo that's good for you but silos are you know expensive you know for the normal farmer Ghanaian farmer let me say the ordinary Ghanaian farmer let me say but if you have a silo that is good for you are good to go if you don't have a silo you should you should make sure you pack your maize at a very clean and dry place where you can have aeration you can have air passing through the place that is uh, number three now number four point number four is that you should um look for um this maize insecticides right because after you have uh, dried your maize and have stored it after some months after three months three four months you realize that weevils will start to be infecting it you begin to get weevil infestation okay now one of the one of the best ways to take care of it is to you know find this weevil insecticides out there in the market there are a couple of them i don't want to mention but you look for some and after three months if you are able to dry the maize up to 12.5-13 percent moisture content then after three months you start to you know use these um, protectant protectant insecticides use them to be you know treating the maize from time to time depending of course depending on how long you're going to keep the maize so from time to time you'll be using this um, protectant insecticide now the final one i want you to take note of is the use of hermetic sacs hermetic sacs or hermetic bags for your story okay if you realize hermetic bags are expensive then you use the normal sack the normal sacks and then apply the applying this insecticide from time to time but the good thing about using hermetic sacks is that or hermetic bags is that it is able to keep the maize away from moisture it is able to keep the maize away from insecticides and weevils and it is able to keep your maize generally is able to protect your maize you know for a very very long time all right so um as i always say what we value ourselves with here at ashco is that as much as possible we want to pass out information that will be very beneficial to you as a maize farmer as a maize feeder and as generally as an agribusiness person so that at the end of the day we can see the good stories in agribusiness for others to to you know take note and make use of all right so thank you very much once again my name is here this is ashko tv the official youtube channel for parcela house commodities if you need maize in large quantities if you need maize in large quantities large quantities and you're talking about thousands of bags even if you need them in hundreds pick up our names and call us and let's make this happen a lot of orders have been placed thank you very much and we 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 still have room for you know a lot more of the orders all right thank you very much until we meet in the next one remember make this video very useful to you if you are a a, a farmer, a, a, a maize farmer, if you are a maize trader and if you are an agribusiness personnel.
or agree with the next person. Until we meet in the next one, peace. Bye bye for now.